Hello friends, Tim Sauti here with my story. Previously, I have failed in many things. And now I have a sure and lasting story on how I failed and in how many things and trials. However, whenever I am ready to share with the world about my failures, they surround me and each wants to hear how I finally succeeded. This is how the world is and structured. People want to know how they can be successful, but no one wants to know about the failures involved. Everyone wants to know about the income beta. No one wants to hear about the pain of investing for the income. Enjoying is sweeter than enduring, though enjoying after enduring is sweetest. It is interesting when you want to hear how people succeeded and you are not ready to learn about their path to their gain. This is the correct recipe for a successful failure, I say. Fearing to invest is investing in fear. Nonetheless, the nice thing is that there is always somebody who has walked your path. If you want to succeed, look and link with that person. Not to learn how they made it, but importantly to learn what they did differently. God gave us unique fingerprints put the fingers in the hands and made sure that we work using the hands. I think he was implying that what we do with our hands is unique in its own ways and each of us their own lane to follow is set. Lack of mental independence and cognitive liberty has seen many people live a borrowed life, a pasted life from another man's copy. My countrymen and more so the fresh graduates from colleges, this is for us. Education is vital but papers are not everything. At times we remain unemployed because we are created to employ others. The reason you are not employed is not always because there is no job opportunity. I believe most times it is because we were the people to create the opportunities but unfortunately we went seeking for employment from other equal opportunity creators. We are rendering other people jobless by waiting to be employed. Perhaps what we are forgetting to remember is this, that no salary will make you as rich as you may wish because your boss is not that foolish. Among the legally and known richest folks, none is employed. You may not be the first. If your boss paid your output 100%, they would make a loss and the payment is alive and well. My friend, it's like we're forgetting to understand that if you must work to eat, then when you have no work that you call employment, you will not eat. The height of being hired is being fired and later you retire. But the height of beginning small and today is getting greater and higher. Salary is the money we are paid for work done. Income is money we earn from being prepared to have work done. Jobs attract salary, work attracts earning. What you have not prepared for will not come unless it is a pestilence. In other words, salary is the bribe we are given to forget to begin small and to follow our dreams. Wealth is the residue of money earned and the expenses paid. You don't go to school to be employed, though when you go to school you increase your chances of your employability. You don't need employment to earn, though when you are employed you earn. All you need to get employed, salary and earning at the same time is a small thing in few letters called idea. Idea is motherly. It gives birth, takes care, grows and matures. The firstborn of idea is called creativity. Creativity is a twin to innovation. The two see a problem and limp high to solve it money comes as a result of a solved problem. Therefore, money is a reward for a problem solved, and the many the problem is solved, the much you get. Are you solving a problem? 
or are you a problem needing an idea to be solved? Choose you now which way to go and how I wish you choose to begin small and where you are.